everybody, welcome back to my channel. Does this look crooked to you? I keep adjusting this tripod and I feel like I still look crooked. I don't know, I'm just gonna roll with it. Today's video is gonna be a quick one. Hopefully. I recently posted a picture on my Instagram of this new everyday makeup look that I've been really loving using three products from Maybelline. I asked if you would be interested in seeing this look and I got a lot of yeses. So I thought that I would show you how I create it. So for starters, I think I'm crooked. All right, so for starters, my face makeup is already on. My foundation, concealer, bronzer, that whole shebang. So all I really have left to do are my eyes and my lips. So the three products I'm gonna be using today to do that are from Maybelline's Total Temptation line. I have this shadow and highlight palette, which is gorgeous. They have shadows to help you create two totally different looks. One is a little more deeper, more nighttime, a little more sultry, and the other is like a softer, sweeter pink look. And the pink side is the side that I have been using. It also comes with these two highlights, which are amazing. I've been using this gold one and it is just like so, so pigmented. It's gorgeous. When you put it on, you literally glow. It's pretty amazing. The other two products that I'm gonna use are their Total Temptation Mascara, which I don't wanna spoil it, but is amazing. This is like probably my new favorite mascara and I am very hard to please when it comes to mascaras. The Falsies by Maybelline is actually one of my all-time favorite mascaras. It is just one of the most compatible brushes and formulas for my lashes, so I'm not surprised that another one of Maybelline's products may be taking the throne for that. And the last thing I'm gonna be using is the Total Temptation Brow um, Pencil Crayon Definer. I have a brow pencil that I really love, and this one I like. It's not my favorite, but I do like it. Today you'll get to see it in action and decide for yourself what you think about it. So I'm just gonna pin my like kind of annoying bang back and get started. Okay, so we are gonna start with the eyes. Using this Total Temptation palette, I'm gonna start with this lighter pink shade and kind of apply it all over my lid and into my crease. It's such a beautiful pink. It's very, very soft, but it's kind of like coral. It's just beautiful. I've been into pink eyes a lot lately. It's never really been one of my go-to colors. I'm more of like a purpley, um, you know, brown, neutral kind of girl. But there's something about pink eyes that is just so soft and sweet and pretty. I just, I really love it. For this look, I don't want anything too dark or dramatic or bold. This is really just a soft, everyday look. Okay, from there I'm gonna go back in with this deeper mauve shade and kind of apply it in my crease to give it just a little bit more depth. I hate to admit it, but I really don't experiment much with my eye makeup and the way that I apply it. I kind of just do the same thing every time because it's what I like and what works for me, but sometimes I feel like I should get a little more adventurous. Then I'm gonna go in with the brown and just take a smidge of this and add it right into the corner to just create the tiniest bit of smoke out. And what I've learned over the years and even in recent months is that it doesn't even matter how good you are at applying makeup, you, you really just have to be able to blend. Blending is gonna save your life <laughs> or your eye makeup's life. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the color. Then I'm gonna go in with this gold shade. It's a little bit more champagne than gold, I would say, but I'm gonna take a bit of that on my brush and apply it to my lid. So, so pretty. Okay, now I'm gonna also take this and apply it right beneath my eyebrow. And I'm gonna take a smaller brush and put it right in the little nook here and I'm gonna drag it under just a smidge. How pretty is that? All right, now I'm gonna go back in with this deeper mauve shade. I'm gonna just apply it below my lower lashes. What I really like about this makeup look is that there's no liner involved. And you don't really realize how much you don't need liner until you know, you find an eye look that looks great without liner. And for me, this is that look. 
Um, and that's it for, that's it for eyeshadow. So before I do my mascara, I think I'm gonna go do my brows really quick. I don't want my mascara to smudge when I go back and do the brows. All right, so using this Total Temptation pencil, I'm gonna take the little spoolie end, which is so cute, and just kind of brush my brows into the place I want them. And then I'm gonna go ahead and fill. Now, if you saw this on Insta Stories the first time I tried it, you'll know that I was a little confused. I was a little confused about this like diamond-shaped style. I've never seen a brow pencil like this. It definitely kind of rounded out once I used it, but it was a little bizarre. I was told that it was designed like this because it's supposed to help you like cut and shape your brows. But all I could think is like, I don't want my brows to be cut. I just want them to be like softly angled. So I'm not a huge fan of the shape of it, but the formula itself is fine. I'm gonna be honest, I do think I like my $2 e.l.f. pencils better, but this isn't bad. I have been using it just cause you know I'm trying not to buy beauty products. So the things that I get sent and I, you know, kind of have to try, I wanna keep using if I like them. And, I, and this I don't mind. So that's a pretty decent brow. I can't complain. All right, let's do this one. Isn't it funny how creepy you look without mascara? Like, you don't even realize how much of a difference mascara makes. The other day I was trying to think of, like if I could only pick two beauty products to wear, what would I choose? And for the first time in my life, I think I was gonna pick lipstick just because this lip combo that I'm about to show you is like, I've been in love with it. I cannot live without it. But I do love my like foundation and concealer and creating like a soft canvas. But then I also love my brows. And then mascara makes such a difference too. So it's like actually a really hard question. I don't know. I don't know what I would choose. It's very hard doing your makeup on camera. My brows are a little crooked, but whatever. Okay, so let's go back in with the mascara. Like I mentioned, this is a... Like I mentioned, this is amazing. I am so happy with this product. The brush, there's like really nothing fancy about it, like at all, but it just works really well with my lashes. So I'm not gonna complain. So I'm gonna go ahead and put like two to three coats on and hope that I don't mess up my eyes. I tend to like make a big mess on my eye makeup whenever I put mascara on. I was editing another makeup video the other day and realized that I make like the most awkward faces when I'm putting my makeup on. Like I look very strange I feel like I look possessed. It's definitely unattractive. The faces we make are awful. Okay, but do you guys see this so far? Do you see how it's kind of lifting, separating, and coating every lash pretty evenly? I love it. I'm gonna go in the bottom. Cute. Okay, so that's only one coat. Let me do the other side, then I'll go back for a second coat. Yeah, I love this. I really, I don't know. It's very on par with the falsies. They're definitely the same leak for me, but maybe because this packaging is just so much cuter, I like it better. I don't know. Isn't that crazy how much of a difference mascara makes in your eyes? It makes such a big difference. All right, let me go back and do another coat. Yeah, I love this too freaking much. Oh, happy girl. Okay, that's so pretty. I have not been this happy with a mascara in a while. I've gotten quite a few mascaras recently and I passed them all on. I really didn't enjoy them. This one though is definitely a keeper. I keep wanting to say that it smells good, but it kind of smells like Play-Doh, which I don't necessarily like the smell of Play-Doh, but for some reason I like don't mind it. Okay, like come on. <sighs> like hold, ah, oh, I'm so happy. I just love this mascara. 
I mean, that is some good, that's some good lash work. <laughs> they are so, I feel like they're really, they're just so evenly coated. They're pretty full. They definitely are elongated. I love it. I really am just so, so happy with this mascara. If nothing else from this video, I, I urge you to test this out. I really like it. I don't know if it'll work as well for you. Uh, you know, makeup works different on everybody, but I can't rave about it enough. Okay, so to complete the look, I'm gonna go back in with this highlight. I'm gonna use the gold, and I'm just gonna take it on my finger, and you'll see, it's just like true gold. It's very, very pigmented, and it's just, it's gorgeous. So I'm gonna apply this to my cheekbones, and you'll literally see, like, do you see this? Hello. Oh, I love it. It is a pretty, it is a very pretty highlight. And what I like about it is that it is part of this palette. I love when your products, you know, have more than one function. Like the fact that there's a highlight and shadow in here, that's one less product I have to carry. So I like that. I put a little above my lip. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> Okay, now the final step for this look that I've been wearing every day is this lip combo. To create it, I use a liner and then a soft matte gloss. The two together are like perfect. They were like, I feel like it was made for my lips. I am so, so happy with it. I wear it every day. No matter what I'm doing, where I'm going, how much makeup I wear, I have been putting this lip combo on. Both of these products I've talked about elsewhere before, but this is the first time I'm introducing them together. The first thing I'm gonna do is take this Milani Lip Liner in the shade Nude and apply it to my lips. Now the thing about this is that it's called Nude, but it is really a pink. It's like a pink mauve shade, it is not nude. I'm just gonna slightly outline. I have very little lips, I've mentioned this many times before, but when I do my lipstick like this, I feel like they look really full and plush and I just, Okay, so then to top it, to complete the look, I'm gonna use this Bare Minerals Gloss, it's a matte gloss, in the shade Swag. And it is just like the perfect light pink. It's like the pink I've been looking for my entire life. I'm just gonna apply it. And the best part about it is that it smells like cocoa. It really does. Oh, I love it. I keep saying that one day maybe I'll get my lips done. I'm not opposed to that, but until then, I feel like this helps quite a bit. So this is the look. It's just soft, it's pink, it's flirty, it's fun, it's feminine. Take my hair down, my weird bang. I love my bang, but it's just like, a little difficult. So that is it guys. I wanted to make this video pretty quick and, and painless and easy to get through just to show you my new everyday look and this lip combo which I cannot get enough of. Mm. I'm so happy with it. Definitely take a look at the new Temptation line from Maybelline. This palette really is beautiful. You get a lot of bang for your buck with it just because it does come with two complete looks and the highlights. The brow pencil is fine. I like it. I don't love it. I've used ones that I think are better, but it's not bad. I'm not saying it's a bad pencil. It's just probably not my favorite. But if you take nothing else from this video, make sure you get your hands on this mascara. I really, really, really like it. Like a lot. Like look at those lashes. Those are legit lashes. So that's it for this video. Thank you to everyone who requested it. I had fun filming it. Please leave me your video recommendations in the comments because they really do help me out. Anytime people tell me what they want to see, it makes it so easy for me because I don't necessarily know what you want to see. I want to create content that you want to watch. So your feedback is very, very valuable to me. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day or night whenever you're watching this. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so, and I will see you next time.